Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my Lord. I come to see you. I want to see you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. My dear friends, as we gather today to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins and ask God's mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came to gather us into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made of the abbot St. Bernard a man consumed with zeal for your house and a light shining and burning in your church, grant through his intercession that we may be on fire with the same spirit and walk always as children of light. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. He who fears the Lord will do this. He who is practiced in the law will come to wisdom. Mother-like, she will meet him. Like a young bride, she will embrace him. Nourish him with the bread of understanding and give him the water of learning to drink. He will lean upon her and not fall. He will trust in her and not be put to shame. She will exalt him above his fellows. And in the midst of the assembly, she will open his mouth and fill him with the spirit of wisdom and understanding, and clothe him with the robe of glory. Joy and gladness he will find, an everlasting name he will inherit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your statutes. How shall a young man be faultless in his way? By keeping to your words. Lord, teach, teach me your, me your statutes. statutes. With all my heart I seek you. Let me not stray from your commands. Lord, Lord teach, teach me your, your statutes. statutes. Within my heart I treasure your promise that I may not sin against you. Lord, Lord teach, teach me, me your, your statutes. statutes. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, Lord teach, teach me, me your statutes. statutes. With my lips, I declare all the ordinances of your mouth. Lord, Lord teach, teach me, me your, your statutes. statutes. In the way of your decrees, I rejoice as much in all riches. Lord, Lord teach, teach me, me your statutes. Alleluia. 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 Remain in my love, says the Lord. Whoever lives in me and I in him will bear much fruit. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus again in reply spoke to the chief priests and the elders of the, par of the, parable, of the people in parables, saying, the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son. He dispatched his servants to summon the invited guests to the feast, but they refused to come. A second time, he sent other servants, saying, Tell those invited, Behold, I have prepared my banquet. 
My cubs and fattened cattle are killed, and everything is ready. Come to the feast. Some ignored the invitation and went away, one to his farm, another to his business. The rest laid hold of his servants, mistreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged and sent his troops, destroyed those murderers, and burned their city. Then the king said to his servants, The feast is ready, but those who were invited were not worthy to come. Go out therefore into the main roads and invite to the feast whomever you find. The servants went out into the streets and gathered all they found, bad and good alike, and the hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to meet the guests, he saw a man there, not dressed in a wedding garment. He said to him, My friend, how is it that you came in here without a wedding garment? But he was reduced to silence. Then the king said to his attendants, Bind his hands and feet. Cast him into the darkness outside, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Many are invited, but few are chosen. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we hear Jesus talking to the chief priests and the elders of the Jewish community when he said the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son. The kingdom of heaven is, of course, the kingdom of God, kingdom of love, of justice, mercy, and peace. The kingdom is the time when everyone is gathered and there is a great feast. The feast is, of course, when the Lord finally comes and rule over us. That's the feast. That's the feast that all, everyone is invited to be a part of. But then those who were invited did not entertain the idea of the invitation. Not, they did not RSVP. There is no RSVP. And so the king ordered his servants to bring everyone on the streets, anyone that they meet, and then bring them to the feast. And when they finally arrived in that wedding hall, the king went around to meet the guests. He saw a man there not dressed in a wedding garment. He said to him, My friend, how is it that you came in here without a wedding garment? The wedding garment is Jesus himself. So the wedding garment is what Jesus taught us, the teachings of Jesus. And in the end of the days, you will be recognized if you're we wearing the wedding garment. And that is the life that Jesus told us to be, a life like his, like him. And so it's easy to recognize people if they're wearing the wedding garment because in their ways, in their actions, in their words and thoughts, they reflect the image of Christ, the wedding garment. So my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, when we are invited to a wedding feast, that is the final days, are you ready to wear the garment? Otherwise, when the king sees you, he will say to his attendants, bind their hands and feet and cast them into the darkness outside where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Many are invited, but few are chosen. And that's what the Lord is saying. We're all invited, no exception, but you have to wear the proper garment to the wedding feast. Otherwise, you will 
suffer the same consequence as these people where their hands were bound and feet and cast into the darkness outside where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Jesus finished the, the story by saying, many are invited, but of course they are not assured if they are going to enjoy the feast, but few are chosen because few are wearing the wedding garment, who is Jesus himself. Please stand and let us offer our prayers. That the faith and joy of believers attract unbelievers into God's loving arms, we pray to the Lord. Let us pray for food workers, doctors, nurses, caregivers, and all those in the front lines in ministering to the sick and those affected by this pandemic, we pray to the Lord that those on the verge of giving up find strength to persevere through our thoughts and prayers, we pray to the Lord. That the Lord may heal the sick, comfort the oppressed, and protect us from all natural disasters, we pray to the Lord. Let us pray together with our patron, St. Catherine of Siena, for all our petitions. Let us pray for the intentions of Sabilito Beloso, Lourdes Cipriano, Ubalde family, and Bayardo family. For all this, we pray to the Lord. Amen. Loving Father, receive our prayers, and this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness. We have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of him in hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer to your majesty, O Lord, the sacrament of unity and peace as we celebrate the memorial of the abbot St. Bernard, a man outstanding in word and deed who strove to bring order and concord to your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness you form it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Receive the prayers and intentions of Sabilito Veloso, Lourdes Cipriano, the Obalde family, Bayardo family. Receive the prayers and intentions of Gloria Musco, Cynthia Longhurst, for Gemma, for Clement and Henry Cueto, for Nicola, for the Pasculado family and their intentions. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. We pray for Nicolas Pacquiao and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saint Catherine of Siena, Saint Jude, and all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, 
you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
pray. May the food we have received, O Lord, as we honor St. Bernard, Abbot and Doctor of the Church, work its effect in us so that strengthened by his example and instructed by his teaching, we may be caught up in love of your incarnate word who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us all go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. Have a nice day and be safe. Come and most holy, O sacrament divine.